Hi, I am Kimmy with On William Street, and we are here to help you become a more confident quilter, from the piecing to the quilting and everything in between. So we are back and ready to start our new 2022 year long quilt along. So we've been doing these quilt alongs now for a couple of years, and it's so much fun to quilt along with you guys and to see the fun projects and the fun things that you create from our projects. And we are so excited to get started on this year's quilt along. So this year's quilt along is going to be a little bit different. Uh, we try to mix it up each year. So we're going to be making a whole bunch of small six inch blocks, but don't worry. It's not gonna be super crazy. There's going to be um, repeats. So each month we're going to learn a new block and then make it in a whole range of colors. So don't forget everything that we're gonna talk about, we're going to have it on the blog post. We're gonna go through all the cutting instructions, all the fabric requirements, everything you need to know to sew along with us this year is going to be found there. So make sure to head over there and check that out. It's gonna lay it all out and be a lot easier to kind of um, go through as we get started than trying to catch it all from the video. So use both resources. Second, while you're there, don't forget to check out our shop to find your next modern quilting project as well. Now keep in mind, this pattern works great if you wanna go out and buy 10 different fabrics. You're gonna kinda of wanna look for a range of sh shades and tones. So you can do the full rainbow like we have. Also make sure you check out the blog post. We have a couple different, kind of some different um, fabric choices that you can pick. So you could definitely do all blues and greens or all reds, oranges, and yellows, just kind of however you want to put that together. You could also go scrappy. If you're going scrappy, I would still pick your 10 colors, but then pick, you know, a different fabric, lots of different fabrics in each of those colors. So you could stick, you know, with reds and just go through your scrap and find a bunch of different red prints and, and um, solids. Then a bunch of blue ones and turquoise ones and yellow ones, however you want to do it. So this would work great for scrappy. There's a lot of small pieces. So it's definitely a good scrappy option. Before we start sewing, and this month is definitely going to be kind of the longest. We have a lot to get started. Organization is going to definitely be key with this, with any year long quilts along because we're going all year, make sure that you keep things stored nicely so we don't end up with screwed up blocks by the end um, before we're ready to sew them together. So the first thing we're gonna do is we have this really fancy cutting diagram, and this is over on the blog, and we're going to be cutting out our print, our um, colored fabrics to match this. And this is basically going to get those down into our monthly fabric amounts that we need. So you're going to want to cut all 10 of your colored fabrics up into these measurements that I'm gonna show you and walk you through here before we ever get started with anything. And then that's gonna make sure that you get all the pieces you need from the fabric and we don't end up at the end needing a four inch block and we don't have a four inch strip left. So we're going to separate it all out first. So let's get started with that and then we'll move into month number one block. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking all of our colored prints and we're gonna be using this diagram to cut them out. And you can print this off of the blog, it's gonna have it there, so don't worry about that. Then, I'm just going to go ahead. I have my half yard cut of my fabric here. And keep in mind, there is some extra fabric, but not tons. So pay attention to your cutting, um, measure twice, always make sure you, you know what you're doing because um, we wanna make sure that we have enough at the end of the year, we can get all the pieces that we need. There's a lot of small pieces with these six inch blocks that we're making. So we wanna keep everything nice. Um, also, with the small pieces, there can also be some distorting and some um, shifting and stretching of your fabric, uh, especially because we will be dealing with some biased edges. So if you want to start your fabric, just to give it a little more stability, um, definitely recommend doing that. Make sure you starch it before you cut anything out. Because when you starch fabric, it definitely can shrink it up. So also if you're buying fabric and you starch it, just make sure that it doesn't shrink past that 18 inches. We need the, basically the whole 18 inches to cut these sections up. So now that we have everything starched, everything ready to go ironed, we're ready to start cutting. So the first thing I wanna do is get rid of my selvages. We don't need any of those. We did base this diagram off of a 40 inch wide fabric. Most fabrics these days are 
at least 40 inches. Oftentimes you're gonna be even a little bit more, which is fine. That simply means that we're going to have um, a little bit of leeway. So you will have that little bit of extra if you have like 42 or 44 inches. So the first section we need to cut is going to be this first one. And we're gonna cut at 14 and a quarter inches. And we're just gonna cut the full 18 inch width. So I'm gonna use two rulers here. Mine isn't 14 inches and this one isn't 18. So we're gonna combine them. And I know that this one's six and a half. It's a little bit of a funky one. So I need this one to be, should have done the math first. Six and a half means I need it to be seven and three quarters, right? So I want to line that up on the seven and three quarters. It's gonna give me eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and a quarter. We're good, okay. And then I'm just going to cut across. Now I'm going to take this piece and it's gonna get cut down into some smaller sections. And you're definitely gonna to want to be labeling these, find a bag, boxes, whatever you want to use. Keep all these sorted. So this is going to be month number four, and it needs to be three and two quarter inches. Like I said, I'm gonna walk through and I'm actually gonna cut all these with you, but head to the blog post, print out the um, diagram. So we're gonna take month number four away and I'm gonna go put that with my month four stack. And then we're gonna do one at three and a half inches which is going to be for month number 10. And this is all the cutting we're gonna do now. We'll cut them down into their individual sections um, later on. Then we're going to cut this one. So these pieces aren't necessarily going to be the full, we aren't gonna necessarily need the full length, so we're just gonna leave a little bit of extra fabric there. So this one's gonna be four and a quarter, and you should have, and we'll double check it, at least 11 and a quarter inches, which we're right on that 11 and a quarter there. So four and a quarter here. And that's for month two. And then we've got this one, we are going to cut it into four and a half, just the full 11 and a quarter by four and a half. And then the last piece we need, we just need to make sure it is at least five and a half inches right on. We are right at that five and a half inches that we need. So we are good. So that's gonna be for month seven. So we're gonna take these and we're gonna sort those into the appropriate months. And then we're gonna cut the next section. All right, so the next section we're gonna be cutting up is this section here. And so we're gonna start by cutting them at 10 and a half inches. So again, I'm gonna grab both of my rulers. This one's six and a half wide, so I know that I need to line my four up along this edge. And then I can cut across here, and that's gonna give me the 10 and a half that I need. Move that out of the way. And I actually am going to need my bigger one for this section. So the first one I'm gonna come in here it needs to be six inches by that 10 and a half. So we're gonna cut that and that's gonna be for month 11. Then the next one I need is seven and a half inches. That will be for month three, and then the last piece should be about four and a half inches wide, which we have that and we are good. My fabric was cut a little squampy, but we're still good there. So that's okay. I'm not going about cutting that one up anymore right now. And that's for month one. So set that one aside. We're gonna be using that one here in just a minute. Only a couple more sections left to go. So the next one we're gonna do is this section here. So we're gonna start by cutting 
them at seven and a half inches. And then we're just going to need to cut that piece in half one time. So since I know that that's seven, six and a half, we just need to add one more inch to it. I love using two rulers like this when you don't quite have the width that you need and combining because it still makes it super easy and nice to get those accurate measurements and those nice cuts. All right. So now I've got that piece at seven and a half and I just need two at nine inches. So I got one there. That one should also be nine inches and those are for month um, six and month 12. So then the last piece I'm actually going to just go ahead and not worry about cutting this down anymore. That will leave the biggest extra pieces, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna cut off five and a half inches down there at the bottom. And then as you go along, if you do end up with something that miscuts, we can go back um, and fix it at the end after you've cut everything else out. So we just have to come down here and make sure that we've got a nice five and a half inch piece cut there. And then that gives us the final months, month eight and month five. So cut all of these out and you're really gonna wanna go through all of your colored fabric and cut them up into these sections. And then set them aside, like I said, organize them in bags or in a box or file folders, however you wanna do that so that they all stay together. So that when we're ready to sew, you can just pull out you know, all the colored fabrics for month one and we're ready to go. Okay, so for the white fabric, we're going to do it a little bit different for your background fabric. You're going to be cutting a lot more pieces because you're doing 10 blocks as opposed to just one of each color each month. So what we're going to do for that, you don't need to worry about cutting it all ahead of time. Each month you'll go in and you'll see exactly what you need to cut. And what we're going to be doing is just cutting strips. So we're going to start with the biggest size strip we need, and that's three and a quarter inches. So I'm going to come in here, line my ruler up along the edge, three and a quarter inches, and I'm just going to cut a strip the whole width of the fabric. After that's cut, I'm going to cut it up into the pieces I need. So I need 20 pieces at three and a half inches square. So I'm going to go in there. I'm not going to get it all out of one. I'm going to have to cut a couple strips, but all that will be in the blog post. How many strips to cut and what sizes to cut those down into. So for this month, um, we're going to need three and a half inch, three and a quarter inch squares and two and a half inch squares. So grab your white fabric, cut up just what you need for this month. Leave everything else together. We don't need to worry about cutting that up individually each month. Um, we don't need to worry about cutting that all up now. We can cut it up individually each month. So now, after we've got all that cut out, we're ready to make our first block. And the first block we're going to be doing is our little ninja star block. This is a great one for this month because we're going to be doing a lot of cutting. So the ninja star block is super simple, super easy. So it will go together really quick and give you that little bit extra time you need to get the colored fabrics cut. So grab your colored month one squares and all of the little white squares that we just cut and we're ready to sew our block together. All right, so for the first month, we're gonna be making, like I said, the Ninja Star. I'm just gonna kind of leave that there so we can remember what we're making. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is we're going to need to cut up our colored fabrics. So this, out of each colored fabric, we're gonna need two at three and a quarter inches and one at two and a half inches. So again, each, if you go to the blog post, you're gonna see kind of a diagram of how you wanna cut these out to make sure that all the pieces fit. So we can go three and a quarter, I'm just gonna cut a strip. This whole quilt, I won't lie, is kind of turned into a puzzle to make sure that you can get all the pieces out of the least amount of fabric possible. So we're going to cut one at three and a quarter here. And then I just need one more at three and a quarter. And then the last one I need is um, one at two and a half. 
So I'm gonna cut a two and a half strip across here. Like I said, make sure that when you're doing this, you're double checking everything. You're double checking your measurements because we want to make sure that we're not um, miscutting. Because we don't have tons of extra fabric. So there we go. So now I've got the pieces I need from that color and then just repeat and cut that out of all of all 10 colors um, now. And then that will make it easier as we go through and sew them all together. So the first thing we're gonna do for this is we just have a few half square triangles to make. So we're gonna take our two and a half inch blocks and set those aside. We're just gonna use those in the layout. We're gonna go ahead and grab our three and a quarter inch squares and these are what we're gonna make our half square triangles out of. So grab the white ones and we're just gonna draw a line from corner to corner. You only need to do this on the white blocks. You don't need to worry about on the colored blocks. And I'm just using a heat erase fabric pen right now. Um, because this isn't going to be shown at all, it's gonna be cut on. You could do this with some pencil um, or any fabric marking pen that you like to use. It doesn't really matter. Uh, if you don't have a fabric marking pen, you can also just fold them in half and give them a little press, and that will give us the line that we need as well. So now that the line is drawn, we're going to be sewing, lining these up, one white square on top of all of your colored squares. Then we're just gonna sew a quarter of an inch down both sides of the line. This is a great opportunity for some chain piecing if you wanna just do all 10 blocks at once, get them all lined up, and then just feed them through your machine in one nice big long chain. Now we're gonna take our squares and we're just going to cut on the line that we drew. So just from corner to corner and from corner to corner. Then we're going to go over and we're gonna iron these blocks open. I do recommend because we have a lot of white and a lot of um, colors to go ahead and just iron that seam towards that color and it's gonna help it not show as much. It will hide it a little bit so you won't see a whole bunch of seams through the white. So we're gonna iron all of our little half square triangles open. Now we're gonna trim all of these down to two and a half inches square. And what we really wanna make sure is that we don't lose those points. And if you don't wanna lose your points when dealing with half square triangles, you gotta start with perfect little half square triangles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the 45 degree line on my ruler and make sure that's lined up right along that seam. Then I've got the two and a half inches on that edge, two and a half inches on this edge, and that's gonna make both of my corners are gonna be nice points. And that's gonna make it a lot easier to keep the points later on. I'm also gonna come over here and just get rid of this extra fabric. It's not necessary, but sometimes those will show through and also adds extra bulk in our seams we don't necessarily need. So just take all of your half square triangles and trim all of them down to two and a half inches. We are ready to lay out our block. So we're gonna start with whites in the corners and our half square triangle. The top is gonna to go there and this is just a basic nine patch block. So after we get the pieces laid out, we're gonna sew the top row together, the middle row together and the bottom row together. And then we'll just sew all three rows together. When I go over to iron these, I want to be able to nest my seam. So I'm going to iron these towards the outside plane blocks, these two towards the inside plane block, and these ones again towards the outside plane block. Then when I sew the rows together, I'll be able to nest those seams really easy. So now our ninja star is done, and we're just gonna repeat that with all 10 colors. If you have any questions as we're going through this quilt along, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We are here to help. We want you to be successful. So shoot us a message, shoot us an email, whatever is the most convenient for you, and we will definitely help you out with that. If you have um, any questions on the block layout, don't forget that everything's in a blog post. So you can find it all written out with some diagrams and things that might be helpful if you're having trouble kind of following along the video. Um, don't forget to check out that. It also has all the fabric requirements. So if you're just finding us, wondering what's going on, it's gonna have the fabric requirements and the cutting instructions as we're getting all those different months put together. So this is gonna be the most complex month just because it's all the prep work, 
cutting out all of your colors into the different sections and stuff. So once we're done with this, the rest of it's gonna be really easy because of the time and effort we put in this month. So take advantage of that blog post and all the information there. While you're there, don't forget to check out our shop to find another fun modern quilting project to work on throughout the year as well. And you can find us on Instagram or Facebook, and we will see you next time.